Hey everyone, it's Miss Melissa here. I first want to address the moms in the room and say thank you. Thank you on behalf of Two Cities Kids for all that you do to make sure that the gospel goes forward in your homes. We are praying for wisdom and patience and grace in your homes in this season while everyone is together more. But we pray that today, when you have more time with your family, that you know how loved and cherished you are by us at Two Cities, but also your families. And now for the kids in the room, I wanna talk about the strangest dream I have ever had. It was yummy, but it was about gooey, ooey chocolate chip cookies raining from the sky. Just like today, we are learning about Joseph and his dreams that were from God. Joseph is the son of Jacob and Rachel, and he was special to Jacob and to God. Let's watch our Gospel Project video to learn more about Joseph. Jacob and his family lived in Canaan, the land God had promised to his grandfather Abraham and his family. Jacob had 12 sons, but his favorite son was Joseph. <laughs> Jacob gave Joseph a colorful Ooh. robe. Joseph's brothers saw that Jacob loved Joseph most, and they hated Joseph. <laughs> One day, Joseph told his brothers about a dream he had. He dreamed that he and his brothers were putting together bundles of grain. Suddenly, Joseph's grain stood up and other bundles bowed down to his. The dream meant that Joseph would rule over his brothers. Joseph's brothers hated Joseph even more. Then Joseph had another dream. In this dream, Joseph saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to him. This dream meant all of Joseph's family, his brothers, his mother, and his father would one day bow down to Joseph. Joseph's brothers were more jealous. Sometime later, Jacob sent Joseph to check on his brothers who were tending to the sheep. When the brothers saw Joseph coming, they decided to kill him. But Joseph's oldest brother, Reuben, did not want to kill Joseph. Let's just throw him into a pit, he said. When Joseph arrived, the brothers took off Joseph's colorful robe and threw him into the pit. Then they saw a caravan of people heading to Egypt. They decided to sell Joseph to the travelers as a servant for 20 pieces of silver. The travelers took Joseph to Egypt. The brothers dipped Joseph's colorful robe into blood and took it back to their father. We found this robe, they said. Jacob recognized the robe. He believed a wild animal had killed Joseph. And he cried loudly because he thought his favorite son was dead. Joseph's brothers turned against him and tried to kill him. But God protected Joseph and used him as a part of his plan to rescue his family. In a similar way, people turned against God's son, Jesus. Jesus' death was God's plan to rescue sinners. Hey kids, Miss Melissa's dream made me really hungry, so I decided to do some baking. And as I was gathering all these ingredients, it made me think about something. You know, this flour, if you were to eat this by itself, it wouldn't be very yummy. Have you ever tried it? Or like vanilla extract, if you were to try to taste this by itself, it would be really bitter and it would not taste very good. But when you take these ingredients and you put them in a bowl and you mix them together with things like brown sugar and sugar and yummy chocolate chips and butter, all those things, you mix it together, you can make something really yummy like chocolate chip cookie. And this made me think a lot about Joseph's life. So Joseph had some good things in his life, but he also had some really, really hard things in his life. And God took all of those things and mixed it together and he used it for good. God used Joseph to save his whole family and that's really awesome. Now while you think about that, I am going to go enjoy this yummy cookie. We'll see you later. You see, even when bad things happen, God is right there with us. 
See, for those of us that love Him, He promises that everything will work out for His glory and our good. And that's so encouraging because that means we can trust Him that no matter what's happening around us or in us, He is right there with us. So uh, if you're afraid or worried or tired or lonely or even sad, we can take our emotions and how we're feeling straight to God, our Heavenly Father. And He will hear us and He will sit there with us. And it's really a beautiful thing. That's our Heavenly Father, always with us. We can take anything to Him. So let's talk to Him right now. Let's pray together. Father, we love you, and we thank you so much for who you are. Thank you that you are our Father, and that you are with us through everything, the good times, the bad times, the happy, the sad. No matter how we're feeling, Father, we can take it to you, and you hear us, and you listen, and you also help us. Thank you so much for who you are, and thank you most of all for your Son. And it's in his name we pray. Amen.